guys, how you doing? Carlos here from Yugi Dojo. Uh, just recently put an article up on the website there called uh, Rekindle Your Passion for Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, basically what that is, is, you know, it's important to remember that Yu-Gi-Oh! is just a game. You know, after all, it, it is just a game. You know, we all get it so serious to the game, you know, that we have to make the right play at the right time and do the right things at the right times. Or if you're in it for like the business purposes, you know, I got to get that card and sell it for the right price and do this, you know. But remember, this game is supposed to be fun. Games are supposed to be fun. And sometimes I forget that myself, you know, um, getting so involved in the game and wanting to win so much uh, detracts me from it being supposed to be fun, you know, with Little Man there when, when we play. You know, I, I get so involved of trying to make sure that he does the right move at the right time, that he synchro summons the right monsters with his deck, that I forget that this is supposed to be fun for him, too. You know, sometimes he asks me, can I put this synchro in my deck? And I say, no, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that. But then I remember, you know, it's your deck, and if you want to do that, you go put it in there. You know, regardless of what I say, it has to be fun, you know, for him. You know, sometimes we have to reflect back on our memories of why we actually enjoy playing this game, you know. One of my memories that I remember uh, was, you know, the first tournament that I ever played. You know, I was a newbie at the locals there and um, had a Gemini deck which, which, which consisted of the Warrior Strike um, uh, Gemini monsters there and had some additional monsters here and there that I would be able to, to use but it mainly dealt with, uh, you know, me getting supervised into the, from the field to the graveyard to bring out that 2800, I forgot, Gear Frame, I think his name is, um, to bring him out and basically have the 1900, 17 and 1900 beaters uh, on the field there. Now, I didn't have any type of, you know, what we call staple cards like Bottomless Trap, Hole, Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute, Solemn Warnings, you know, stuff like that, because was new, I wasn't planning to spend that much money in the game, and I actually really got into the game because of Little Man, you know, he wanted to learn how to play the game, so I had to learn how to play it in order to show him. So I went to a locals there, and I started playing the deck, and to my surprise, I was actually doing quite well with the deck, that um, I was able to top eight at my tournament for with that there, Now I was really surprised because, you know, I really didn't know the rules, the timing rules, priority, all this other stuff that I know today. And I actually topped. And I was very surprised and very happy that I topped. The little man was even excited for me that I topped because he figured, oh, if you win, we could get a prize. And little did he know, you know, that he understood that this usually doesn't happen, you know. But I guess it's due to the fact that I used to play Magic and I had strategies uh, knew how to play a strategy game like that, but regardless, you know, that got me excited because Little Man was excited for me too, and you know, we were there to share the experience, and unfortunately, I lost in the next match in the top eight there, but, you know, that's one of the memories that I always remember, and, and when I start getting, you know, when life starts throwing stuff at me and, you know, I start losing the passion for the game. I remember, I, I always remember that memory and, and it brings me back into focus and re-energizes my passion into to playing the game, you know, and, and I, I recommend that you guys do the same thing, you know. Sit down whenever, you know, maybe going to college and the studies and everything got you down or, you know, you're probably a little bit older like myself and work got you down, life, just life itself brings you a lot of things and puts you down and you start losing the passion for the game, just remember, you know, start going back and try, try to think of the, the moments that you really, really remember that were good for you. Maybe that first time that you won your first match or the first time you won your first tournament there, you know, and I bet you that that feeling that you had back then, you're going to want to get that feeling again and it's going to start rekindling you again. So, you know, definitely I would say go check out the site uh, to read about what I actually wrote um, about rekindling your passion for the game. And remember, the game is supposed to be fun.
So let's make it fun. Let's have a good time. And, you know, don't let life always bring you down about this game. It's a fun game. It actually is a game that has a community. You know, I've met many a people through this game that I probably would have never met before. Or even talked to people online that I've never would have ever spoken to online. So this game actually has done a lot for me. You know, it helps me relieve my stress. It helps me meet new people, you know, and I'm sure that it's done the same for you. So rekindle that passion if you're starting to think, oh, I'm going to quit the game, I'm going to quit the game. Rekindle that passion and get back into the game. All right? So give me a thumbs up if you like this video. You know, uh, and basically keep on playing good Yugi's, all right? I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.